Veterans Resource Fair started really about six years ago. This is our fifth year doing it. And it was kind of an idea. When the Veterans Commission came together after being reorganized with Barry Glassman, uh, we wanted to do some outreach. We wanted to be just something more than just a group that sits around. So we came up with the idea of the Veterans Resource Fair. And it was interesting when we first said it, uh, we had someone say, well, you'll never get more than 15 people. We tried it before, we'll never do it. And I'll say today, you know, even with the COVID, you know, last, the last time we had it two years ago, we had almost 500 people. So we're very glad that we can provide this outreach, which are really services. We bring in the different services from the VA, from the state VA, from mental health services, from VA Maryland healthcare system, as well as the county and local agencies. We're, we kind of see this as a three-legged stool to support those veterans. You need the local, in the community, you need the state, and you need the federal all working together. And that's what we try to do right here is have all of them working together. There's a lot that goes into making uh, this country as strong uh, as it is. And, and part of what makes this country strong uh, is the military. And a part of what makes the military so strong uh, are the veterans. Uh, so events like this today are, are tremendous uh, at uh, not only taking care of the veterans past uh, and present, uh, but also being a part of what makes the Army so strong and what makes this uh, all-volunteer Army the best and strongest that this world has ever seen. When I first became county executive seven years ago, uh, Captain Jim McMahon came up to me and said, Barry, we need to revitalize and get our Veterans Commission back in, in motion. So we've spent uh, really the last seven years rebuilding that and the programs and resources and about a few years ago, we started coming together in a large resource fair uh, that brings all those services together in a one-stop shop, uh, not only to thank our veterans, but many of them still need services from the VA and different agencies. So it's a chance for us to come together and support them. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. I also implore you to seek out resources, whether they are counseling to help to understand the process or complicated feelings, career transition resources to help you find where your excellence can be best used in the new chapter of your life. I'm so proud of the work that we've done so far to honor those who have sacrificed to keep us free. In fact, from the American Revolution to this day, Hartford County citizens have answered the call every time to defend our freedom. Some never came home. All are heroes. And today and every day, we celebrate them. For the essay, first place, Austin Kilty. In the next category, our posters for 12 and over, First place, Cameron Crisp. So we want to make sure when they come back home that they know that the community cares about them and that we get them connected uh, to the right resources to help them out. The main thing is if you're a veteran, don't wait. Don't wait for support. Don't wait and say, I've got it covered. Don't wait. And part of what makes this country strong uh, is the military and a part of what makes the military so strong uh, are the veterans. 